the real war on Christmas, burning Santa and anti-Christian violence in India. Recently, with Hindu nationalism on the rise in India, anti-Christian attacks are increasing at an alarming rate. On Christmas Eve, Hindutva supporters barged into a school in Haryana's Gurugram district, chanting Jai Shri Ram, uh, translation, glory to Lord Ram, uh, which is the Hindutva equivalent of Allahu Akbar, intentionally disrupting Christmas prayers. A Jesus statue built in 1848 in colonial era in a colonial era British church was vandalized on the same day. Furthermore, effigies of Santa Claus were burned by a crowd near St. John's College in Agra, Uttar Pradesh. The extremist leaders and their followers justify such, such acts by saying that Christian prayers and Santa Claus are part of a quote strategy by Christian missionaries to convert Hindus. General Secretary Aju uh, Chauhan, a member of the right-wing Hindu, Hindu vigilante gang Bajrang Dal, said, quote, Santa does not come bearing only gifts. His only goal is to convert the Hindus into Christianity. It's not going only, to work anymore. Only goal? Amazing. A.C. Michael, a former member of the Delhi Minorities Commission, stated that over 49 reports to the police had been called in, but no action has been taken. He also said the fears which are being which are being fueled on Christians converting Hindus are baseless. Um, so I wanted to cover this because on leading up to Christmas and on Christmas, there was a huge spurt of anti-Christian violence. There was over seven incidents, and I've seen reports saying 15. Um in the days within like a very short span of days and the incidents range from yeah burning effigy of santa and shouting death to santa as well as um well for some of the things i want to say i'm gonna have to code it for youtube so i'm gonna say d okay so they were also chanting d to missionaries um, there were there were multiple instances across states of people barging into churches and or even just Christmas plays. And first, there was w one instance of a group that would just go in there and to just like intimidate like the Christians. And they were just there to watch. And they're like, we're not going to disrupt anything. You know, we're just watching to make sure that any, uh, you know, forced conversions aren't happening. And then after some time, they like barge, they shut their show down. They barged on stage, started preaching about how they need to, you know, return basically to their Indian identity, how they can't forget the Bhagavad Gita. They can't forget the Ramayana. They need to like return to India. And they were saying like that they will destroy the irreligious. But when they say irreligious, they don't mean atheists like us with the the phrase they were using was um a dharmi so like a dharmi a dharmic without dharma oh so without that means, dharma oh my god so that means yes. anyone who's not hindu so they were saying mm -hmm. like you know we're gonna destroy the non-hindus because they were saying it's just like their kafir just like you could refer the kafir in islam could be referred to any but any not just atheists but anybody who's not a muslim it could be used mm -hmm. as like they're like the word irreligious apparently now this is very similar it could be just refer, refer to anybody that who's not hindu not just like atheist yes yeah. exactly um there was even an instance of a hindutva gang threatening to shut down a school because there was a picture that was circulated of students wearing santa hats and they're saying we're going to shut down this school because we have re reports that the students were wearing Santa hats and that this is some violation in a conspiracy to make them lose their Hindu identity. Because the and the picture I saw it was like six year olds, a group of like 10 six year olds wearing Santa hats and they lost their minds. They're like, we're going to file reports. We're going to get this school closed. Wow. So that's why which, I titled which, this the real war on Christmas. I'm like, this is insane. Yeah, where's Bill O'Reilly <laughs> and all these other people who keep complaining about war on Christmas? We have a real one happening here. <laughs> they don't come. Yeah, apparently, like, do they are they talking about this? Because when we say like happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas, uh, these people lose their minds. 
But now they're like burning Santa Clauses and going after kids who are wearing Santa hats. So is, is are they not going to talk about this one? I, we have some videos. Can I play them? Are they play like is that? Yeah. YouTube so friendly? um, there are videos of in this article. We have videos of some of the um, services that were interrupted. Mm -hmm. There were multiple instances of this, and then also them burning Santa. Okay. So I, before I play it, can you read the caption for the tweet? Yes, the caption says Christmas prayers disrupted in uh, Petaudi Gurugram. Quote, we aren't disrespecting Christianity, the man on stage says. He tells the kids the destruction of Indian culture has started. You have the resolve to stop it. With the same resolve, say, Jai Sri Ram, uh, Satan Dharma Ki Jai, which is basically like glory to Hinduism. Yeah, and guys, for people who don't know, uh, Jai Sri Ram is basically the Hindu version of Allah Akbar, right? I think we should like switch it up. Say, uh, Ram Akbar and Jai Sri Jai Sri Allah, Jai Sri Allah and Ram Remix. Akbar. Yeah, Ram Akbar, Ram Ram Akbar, Ram Akbar, everyone in the live chat. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's see. Yeah, guys, you have an idea of this video, like mm -hmm. you know. Susie, have idea? Okay. okay, so this is just basically a, is a Christmas prayer. Yeah. Is this post the disruption or after or before it? Like this is the disruption. No, that show? is this is the disruption. Oh, okay, they're so like going in front of all these kids and then basically oh, they are to intimidate the women and children okay so these are kids these are Chris christian kids in india right mm -hmm. and they were just having like a prayer i mean we, we're not we're against actually uh prayer ceremonies for children but but we advocate against it we don't <laughs> we don't barge into prayer well it's not we necessarily say, like, it's for children Christians, it's yeah. very typical that you go to Christmas mass or Christmas vigil, or you just go to Christmas more in general, or Chris, you go to mass more in general around Christmas time. And in a lot of congregations I've been to, kids just sit in the front. Okay, so I do not know who Rama Ram is. Ram, Rama is one of the one it was one of the Hindu deities, right? It's the reincarnation of one of the reincarnations of Vishnu. Is it mm -hmm. Vishnu, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes before the reincarnation of vishnu before uh krishna i think or I, after I believe or so. before yeah it was before i think um no okay so so no like it, it's it's funny because a lot of hindus tell us like hey armin i thought you were against like prayer ceremonies to children so why are you why are you against this i was like yeah we're against prayer ceremonies to children we think it's brainwashing and all that stuff but we just speak against that. We're not we're not in favor of you just forcing your way into people's private areas and just like barge in and like enforce your <laughs> you know your your own like this is also hey, this is also basically what they're doing, even worse. At least they have like a peaceful prayer ceremony. You're just like forcing your way on them. Like this is even worse. But hold on, in some get, of these instances, is, um yeah, you can play that. There's not really like important audio. It's just showing this historical statue that was shattered and vandalized. They vandalized the church. Um, and uh, in one of the, in one of these instances of um, like services being disrupted, they actually just shut down the whole thing and like forced people to leave. Oh, this is the this is the burning Santa. This is the a group part. of members of like. Okay, so they, this is the burning Santa video. Okay um they should have is this they should just crucify the santa uh, santa just make the santa it, like, does look crucified what are you like yeah, the, what are you yeah, talking right. about he, he, do, he does look like he's being crucified and burned no they should have just crucified him and just poked him santa with a, like a spear on the side i think that would be that would get a lot more international <laughs> attention oh my god look at these like zaffron color flags this is because this is becoming the color of fear and intimidation in India. You know what I mean? 100%. Like if I was like, yeah, if I was this, if I was like a minority or a Christian or a Muslim, 
if I see these colors flying or some people wearing these colors, I would be like, terror is on the way. You know what I mean? Like, it, it kind of reminds me of like how, and no, I actually don't want to compare that. People are going to lose their mind if they compare it to, oh, wow, they're pouring gasoline on Santa. That's gasoline, right? Um, oh, yep, they're burning Santa. Oh, my God. Santa. <laughs> Man, That's amazing. These it's people. so brutal. Like, it's okay. So, wait, can you? Should I show the meme that I made? Or oh no, I have it. I have it. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is <laughs> so you, I you, made this you... meme today. <laughs> For anyone who's listening, it's a tiny little anime girl hiding under a desk, and then in the corner you see a Terminator with a giant gun. <laughs> like looking for people to terminate and over the terminator it says santa claus and then over the girl crying it says hindu nationalists and (laughs) so i when i was reading particularly the story about the kids wearing santa hats and they freaked out and we're gonna shut down a school i was like this is i've never this is a this is a level of lost touch with reality persecutory delusion embodied by these like hindutva people that borders on psychosis like Mm. they the they have a level of fragile sensitivity towards anything unlike themselves that is almost beyond something that you can describe with words like they, <laughs> it's it's so and it's so characteristic all of their behaviors are so characteristic of dyed in the wool fascists like fascists have these insane delusions that everything is trying to destroy their group identity everything you're the right. smallest difference the smallest plurality is seen as an existential threat that can only that it makes me want to treat you like a little mm. girl hiding under the desk hey. except the terminator is <laughs> i mean there's nothing wrong with that but <laughs> <laughs> But it made me, it's like, I've like, it, do you have the mind of a child? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> that, you're that just is like, so oh my true. God, she's so scared. Oh my God. Except what she's scared of is a Santa hat. You know, that's a very great observation so is that, you know, fascistic minded people see the, the most minor things as a threat to their entire identity. You know how like Christians... See, like, oh, happy holiday. Oh, this is a a war on their entire existence now. It's a war on their identity. Um, To to that, I wish that I, you know, to that, I say, like, good, like, you know, Christian identity. But anyways, like, but it's the same thing with, like, these Hindu nationalists. They're all just, like, so fragile, right? Everything, and everything is, like, a giant conspiracy. Everything is, like, the entire world. And they're always a victim. The whole world is united into and and even things that are not about them are somehow become about them and the smallest things that become like a mass conspiracy that everybody is doing it not just these group of people it's it's amazing it's amazing how like uh you know like right-wing extremists do not communicate with each other and they yet behave like each other so much like it's just like you guys have you guys met? Like, it's amazing. Like, have you guys been talking to each other? How are you so similar? Um, I do have some comments. So let me actually remove this. This was really good, by the way. Good job. <laughs> Susanna, it still makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Let me be clear. I am not dissing little anime girls. I love them. Okay. Yeah. But I'm saying <laughs> with the same way that you would baby a little anime yeah. girl for being so fragile. I feel like right. that's how, like, that's how these people should be viewed as, like, except for except for the fact that although their conspiracies are laughable, their behavior is insane, and we have to laugh at it. They deserve to be mocked, right? Um, the violence that they enact on people, like, isn't laughable. 
Okay, that's not something that you just go and like dismiss, right? I'm not trying to dismiss the consequences of these kind of things, but um, so it's no. But I what I like the most is that you make your own memes. It's not like you go find the meme. You make your own memes, and then you look at your own memes that you have made, and you keep laughing at it because you're so amused. You're so amused by the meme that you just made yourself. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just, think I nailed just, it. Okay. <laughs> you did, you did, but you did. But I'm just imagining you just by like sitting at your looking at your screen and looking at the meme that you just made yourself and just laughing. <laughs> That's very cute, actually. That that, that was a good one. Right. <laughs> I laughed the hardest at my own jokes, it's true. That's, that... <laughs> I appreciate the self-confidence. All right, let's look at some of these uh, comments and then move on. Shuvo is saying Hindutva people are salty because they believed Santa was real until they were 10 years old. Oh, <laughs> so that's why they're upset. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay, let's just go. Um, liberal Bengali Hindu is saying they're acting moronic. Most BJP voters are not even like this. They are just government-supported goons. Yeah, which yeah, makes true. it even it makes that makes it ten times worse. Oh, most aren't like this. Just you know, they're just government supported goons. Do you not see the government supported part as a problem? Yeah, yeah government supported is like, like most BJP voters are. Uh, yeah, guys, BJP voters are like millions and millions of people. If if most of them were like this, I don't think you would. There would be an India anymore. Like obviously, guys. Like when we see a rising problem in India, people say like, well, most Indians are not like this or most even BJP supporters are not even like this. Yeah, we know, but this is a rising problem and it is because of BJP and it is because of Hindutva. Doesn't mean that like, for example, when we say Islam is responsible for some extreme forms of radicalism and it is because of Islam, Islam does have an influence. That claim does not mean that we're saying most Muslims are like this. Most Muslims are not like that. But just because most Muslims are not like that doesn't mean that Islam is not responsible. Okay. So these these ideologies, this this way of thinking, that this RSS Hindutva, all this kind of crap that is rising in India, is you know, it takes a low percentage of people uh, to cause a lot of problems in India, but this low percentage is growing very significantly fast all right so if like if it goes from uh one tenth of a percent to one half a percent that is very very significant that's an astronomical rise um and cause a you know a, a, a major threat to india itself herself right like so it, it's amazing how some like I, I know hindu um liberal hindu is not doing that you, you're just clarifying but a lot of people keep saying things like re re response to us saying things that we haven't claimed. Like maybe Wait, this one, this is before one. we go to the next, I have to, I have a small point that I just remembered. So the guy who gave the quote in this article saying, oh, Santa doesn't bear gifts. He's only trying to convert. This guy used to be a, um, a prominent uh, VHP member, which is another mm -hmm. uh, Hindu uh, national organization. And he had a campaign. It was called Save a Daughter like receive a daughter-in-law and it was his response to the love what? jihad conspiracy theory what really yes so, so he's saying save your daughters from marrying muslim men you know prevent love jihad but we also need you to like receive or i can't remember the word exactly but you're going to recruit into your faith a daughter-in-law so what he was trying to do, oh. he had a campaign that was reverse love jihad. So they, the conspiracy that was, they're making the conspiracy real, but a Hindu version of it, basically. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Amazing. They're just, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. Yes. Amazing. I, um, okay, <laughs> I was reading this. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Okay. Wow. So okay. we have our, uh, Oh boy, we have Hindutva Susanna here. And Hindutva mm -hmm. Susanna is saying, once converted, these converts act against national interest. Recently, oh a converted God. Hindu dropped used condoms on temples across Karnataka. 
Wait, converted Hindu? You mean converted out of Hinduism? I think that's Presumably. what she means. Okay, so a converted a Christian, you mean, or a Muslim? Someone I who think left he, Hinduism. Somebody who left. I think that's what you. Mean. I'm assuming that's what she means. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good, a good. It's a good. It's good that I don't know if that's what you mean, but if that's what you mean, this is a exhibit A of the conspiracy that is going on in India. They're thinking like Santa and Christmas and Valentine's Day are as being used as a way to convert people and use them as a way like uh, to conspire against the national interest of India. This is what we're dealing with here. Like and I I I'm think uh, yeah. Go ahead. No, <laughs> somebody's saying that's a lot of use kind of like and, and they're attacking they're attacking the national interests of India with use condoms. <laughs> <laughs> India, the national interest, India is going to be like falling apart because of used condoms. Like, so, oh my God, this is, no, I, 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 can't think... even, I can't even keep track of all the conspiracy. Yeah, okay. You... And here's an interesting thing. We call, we, we, it's an interesting thing because they, when we say, when we say these are conspiracy theories, but they, they, then they say like, no, this has actually happened. I mean, look, there was a condom at this temple. They think like when, because they can, they, individual events actually happen they think they got us um they think that they that's a counterpoint to us saying this is a conspiracy theory right they have anecdotal stories that are happening and they just connect the dots and they, they see this wider trend this much more exaggerated masterful plan about these people these abrahamic real people from christianity and islam that they're just maybe coming together and coming up with a this master plan to take down india and every time we're saying you're lost your mind you're loons there is no conspiracy theory they're like oh so you're telling me that this specific event didn't happen aha you're so wrong it did happen look look at this article see see how wrong you are aha are you embarrassed now armin thinking there's no conspiracy theory explain this condom at this temple armin there is a conspiracy theory there is a conspiracy. It's like, no, there was one person who did a gross thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, but you're missing out on a very, the yeah. most important part of this person's comment saying once yeah. converted, these converts act against national interest. Yeah. So, so that who, means every Christian. Who are you to yeah. say? Who are you to say? This, this, I know for a fact, Hindutva Susanna, whoever you are, because you come here enough for me to know that you are too stupid to understand what you are saying here. You are be lying and revealing. Thank you for your transparency, because everyone can see clear as day the presumptions, the bigotry that you have, and also your underlying like predisposition to just authoritarianism. Someone's individual choice to leave their faith is now against national interests. Like, I'm not, I, I, I'm someone who actually really dislikes throwing around fascist too often, but this constant deflection to national interest in this group identity is meaningless and ultimately meaningless. But it's, it's signaling towards this, this fake, construction of a past glory and to what does an individual owe their nation their personal choice of religion does that am i making sense here yeah actually that's a very good point which makes me also think about these comments in another way right when they say that you're you're they're acting against national interests to, to me, it also seems like they're suggesting that Hindutva defines the na national what the national interests of a countries are, right? So any like whatever benefits Hindutva, that is the national interest. Everybody else could go get fucked, basically, right? Like whatever is makes is with, is within the interest of the Muslims or uh, Christians or anybody else, except maybe you know or secularists or leftists, right? Um, that is if the if it benefits them so they are basically in that way they're making them not part of india like they are not indian they are exactly. not part of exactly they're not even they're, they're, they're not they're owed treating, the same rights yeah as, they're a, citizen, second class as citizen. a fellow citizen yeah as a fellow yeah, and, indian and, nationalists 
Also, another thing that this this kind of attitude, this is this white uh, spread common uh, way of thinking in India does, is that it basically turns every Muslim and Christian into a potential um, threat to India. You know, like it sees Muslims and Christians not as Indian citizens, but threats to India. Do you know what as I mean? like inner uh, espionage, as like interceptors. Yes, tours. fifth call, fifth column, or something. You know, it's like uh, the threat from within, right? So imagine you just for the sake of for just because you're a Christian or a Muslim, that's how you're viewed, just because of guilt by association, right? Um, you know, you better you, like oh, you can, like you could be Christian, but you better watch out. We're watching you. Like you better behave properly. You, you just have to know your place. You don't speak about Christianity. Don't, you know, don't like, don't talk to kids. Like, it's just like, don't celebrate your, don't do, ha don't have festivals. Don't celebrate anything, anything. Just like, just make sure we can't even recognize that you're Christian. Right. Like, so it's, it's, it's very, um, demi like in as you know, under Islam, you know, how, um, Christians and Jews have to live the standards that they have the, based on like, Sharia that the conditions that they have for m m Christians and Jews to live under Islamic land to me it seems like this Hindutva this is a Hindutva version of that right you could be a Christian you could be a Muslim just be humble don't speak don't advertise make sure you know your place um, and that's the only way that you could survive you're always a threat but you're a second class citizen and you, the guy, by the way, YouTube, I'm not saying that I'm describing what other people are saying. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.